Well, hello everybody. Monty here from Monty Plays Games, playing Mission 3 of the Europe Campaign for Transport Fever. Oh, that's right. Glad to have you along the ways. We're going to be going for all the medals, all the gold, and it's going to be good times. Lots of trucks, and yeah. So let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Loading now. The old continent is constantly yielding great new inventions. Be part of this rapid technological progress and found numerous thriving transport companies in Europe. All right, loading into mission number three. Hard times, apparently, but I've been loving the campaign so far, both the America and Europe style. I know it's been a while since I've been back to the missions. It's been a while since I've been playing because when I do play Transport Fever, I'm usually playing in my free play. The year is 1914 in beautiful Scandinavia. Fortunately, we are separated from Central Europe by the North and Baltic Seas, because things are getting noticeably uncomfortable there. Tensions are increasing. We are in the comfortable situation of sitting on top of gigantic deposits of raw materials, which someone will probably need very soon. On the other hand, we are dependent on foodstuff imports if we want to eat something other than crisp bread and rotten fish. Secure our country's basic supply for whatever may come. So we are going for the five medals. Let's check those out before we dive into the mission. First and foremost, well supplied. Achieve a supply of foodstuffs of 10% in the affected cities in less than six years. Uh, if you look at the map, we have Malmo, we have Jobkoping, and we have Göteborg. Um, yeah, we got three cities, basically, is what we're going to go with there. And we got to keep them all above 10%. It looks like, oh no, achieve supply of 10% within six years. Then we need to amass a wealth of 50 million. Then we need to stockpile 500 food stuff before the uh, war begins. I know that's actually gonna be at this food storage, which currently isn't even built. Uh, and then we also have to make sure that no city has a supply of food over 30% while another goes empty handed. So. This one, you can still have a ton of food, well more than 30%. It's just no other city can have uh, less than that. Um, all right, so also never let the food supply fall below 5%. So I think we're going to be fairly, fairly fair everywhere. We're just going to go truck heavy, get her done, go for gold with trucks is what I'm saying straight off the bat. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up the roads, shall we? Bada boom, we're going to start up on here and wait, we have a question mark. Whoa, what do we got? According to rumor, a German U-boat sank a Swedish schooner with a valuable cargo. 5,000 bottles of champagne, 67 barrels of cognac, 5, and 17 000. barrels of wine were stored on board. The one who finds this treasure will be a real lucky duck. The lady from the harbor should know more. The harbor? Question the lady at the harbor. Are you talking, is this the lady at the harbor? The lady from the harbor said nice. she could help us. Recently, a message in a bottle washed up on the pier. She gave us the note, written in a scrawling hand. It says, we're hick sinking, ship hick in dis You can actually dis write drunk? Distress. Like, don't hick, let the good stuff go bad. Look hick on the coast in the east east in the east i always like to think that that's northwest east south so let's go east there we go we got a question mark it must be somewhere around here we'll send out a boat to locate the spot and salvage this valuable barge i saw something i saw something look at that search for treasure find the treasure underwater F -f found it how lucky can you get? We found the Sham 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 booze ship. Yeehaw! Oh, nice. We just got a million cash for that. Cash money in the bank for clicking some ships, and we haven't even pressed play yet. Uh, but I'm going to bring up the contours. Like I said, I want to kind of connect all the cities. Let's see what we've got going. We've got uh, the Malmo Harbor, which is going to be uh the the steel to food harbor right okay and then over here we have the malmo construction materials plant okay which i know we're gonna have to build this 
Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and start building some roads as we make our way. I want to go with... I want to go with the country roads to have more speed. I th think 25 mile per hour speeds is going to be where it's at. Where the party is at, folks. Which is how we like to do it. So, a lot of road building and a lot of uh, trucks this episode, like I said. So, how are you folks doing? It is just past another holiday season. And uh, I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's it's 2018. I have been away from transport fever for far too long. Uh, but it was a good break. It was a good needed break. I'm excited to be hitting transport fever in 2019 very hard. Very hard. Uh, I also plan to hit games like City Skylines is, is on the hopes and dreams. Quite a few hopes and dreams kinds of things happening on my playlist. And because it's me, you know me. I like to waste my money on smoothing stuff out. No, if we're going to play it, we're going to play it beautiful, fantastic looking. But no messing around. All right, cleaned it up. Got a little something, something going. We'll figure this out in a little bit. But I know we're going to want to bypass here. <clears throat> what is this? By the way, I know I want to turn off my numbers right away. Uh, all right, that's just a barn of nothingness. I'm sure it'll be something someday. We do have a quarry for stone. We're going to have to get the stone all the way up here to the construction yard. That's going to have to be a thing. We might cut along back this way. Pretty sure we will. And then uh, here's the money, here's the meat and potatoes. We have this big, I wouldn't call it a big steel mill, kind of a little little baby steel mill right here. And a little baby mill. But it does need some coal and iron. And with that coal and iron, we're gonna haul steel over there to create food. We haven't even been given a mission yet, but I know we need food. So that's how, that's how this is going. Let's hit start mission though and find out what's going down. Germany needs huge amounts of steel. We don't know exactly what they need it for, but we are in a position to deliver that steel. In return, we can import foodstuffs. Good for example, good beer, which is in extremely short supply here. All right, so we're doing the right thing. I had a feeling we had this steel mill to do something with and we can transfer it into food. So seems to be where the money is at. Uh, the supply indicates uh, what percentage of the annually consumed foodstuffs are delivered to a city on average. So here's the three cities. Supply them with food. All right. So we got to keep on keeping on with what we're doing. And here's the here's the uh, the coal mine. So let's build a road to the coal mine. Kind of nice. Something maybe nice along along this route here. We're going to kind of follow this this contour line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and straight. There we go. Roads are plenty. But we're enjoying it. We're having a good time. A funky time in transport fever. If that music's a little bit too loud, I am going to uh, crank it down a bit next mission. Just thought we could bring the funky tunes. All right, so that's going to help bring our coal up here nice and smooth. Actually, to the degree that I don't want this to be turning into that. I want this to actually, let's clean this up. I want this to actually be the road. Look at me all being efficient. When I do free play, I'm not, I mean, I, I like the looks. I like it being all pretty and stuff, but efficiency is not always the name of the game, which is kind of a change of the pace if you go into the missions. And this line is going to need to be efficient and effective, um, as well as getting, I think, food here. 
We'll see, though. We'll see, though. This is what happens when I don't do a practice run of the mission beforehand and try to go for gold. Thinking we got it all in the bag. All right, so this... Hmm. What kind of hill? We got some hill hillage here. Hmm. I don't want to break off here, though. I don't want to make this too crazy. But I want to uh, have another little forest path here. We're using that extra million we found by that barge to build out all these roads. That's what I'm going with. That is what I'm going with. Uh, but I've been active. If you guys did notice, let's talk about some changes, right? End of 2018. Uh, you may have noticed when I posted this up that you're like, Hey, what is this whole Monty Plays Games thing? This is my first Transport Fever where I have uh, dropped the Monty Rico Gaming. I am still Monty Rico. I didn't, like, go legally uh, change my name to Monty Plays Games. But, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, but, yeah, just go by Monty. And, uh... YouTube actually had me on the lockdown for a long time. You couldn't change the name uh, officially. And uh, I, I had grown with Monte Rico. That had, that had been what I had been doing for a while. But it was time for a change. So uh, getting, getting some work done, hoping to get a new logo and stuff to you. 2019 is going to be a fun year on the channel. So Monty Plays Games. Got a new Twitter account at Monty Games as well. So lots of cool things happened. Let's change some things up here, and let's go ahead and put down some stations. Now, we need, we need, construction can go to the industrial zones. We might do that later. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to want to keep doing that probably to keep the money rolling. Uh, commercial buildings is where the food's going to need to go, so let's go ahead and drop down... I'm going to do the bus station trick, which is not a bug. It's meant to be. You can use buses as drop-off spots. So I am going to do that. We're going to drop it off right there. Okay, we're going to drop off in good old Goaty. Right over here. All right. And Malmo. Almo making it to the party. That's good. That's good. And that's that calls drop-offs. Now, let's get all construction-y, depot-y in that regard. And let's go ahead. This is We're going to have a lot of food going out, so I want to get a large truck station off the bat. And isn't it? There we go. There we go. And then shift to minutely change it. Uh, I want to get some of these built. Oops. Uh, that's that's where I want to get it built. Exactly right there. And maybe go ahead and put down another one. So what we're going to do... Hmm. I just got a mod that makes it to where I can build streets that uh, houses don't build on. It's very handy. I guess I'm just going to stick to the medium country road here. Which is actually fat. I mean, if you look at that, the speed. If you do a street road out here, the speed's down. It's just not. It ain't right. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Because these are all going to need to connect. And by connect, I mean, yeah, that's going to have to highlight when I click on this. So that means... This can all get here. Very nice. Very nice. Clean this up. Now, usually I would build it all out and then skip ahead and bring you back. But let, let's let's watch it all happen. Uh, all right, so we're going to be bringing in... Hmm. Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, this is a road depot. Road depot, road depot. 
Or Royal Depot. You know what? They're, they're pretty cheap. I'm going to go ahead and just throw one here. And I'm going to go ahead and also put one over here. We're not doing like the whole hardcore, let's go with one, one depot for everything. Uh, let's flip this guy around. Let's just put him up here. There we go. Oh, sorry, I'm a sucker for this. I don't like all the the roads looking too crazy. Get all that cleaned up. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now, roads. Work with me here. All right. So we've got these going. Let's go ahead and buy some road vehicles. Let's see what we have. The Benz is probably what we're going to go with. If you look at the speeds, uh, this is 60 miles per hour, this is 25 miles per hour, and speed is of the essence. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go go big. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put five on everything, and we're going to we're going to set the, uh, a new line, and we're going to call this one. Uh, we're going to call this one. Ooh, let's call it food. Uh, food. Food. Go to Borg. I mean, there you go. Yeah, so that's where this one's going to go. And we're going to make it yellow. Why not? Let's stick with that. Enter. Please don't delete all my goodness there, right? You like that? Enter. There you go. Uh, yeah, you're going to go from there. All the way. This is a this is a long trip, but they're gonna go all the way to uh, there. So that's why we're gonna need a road over here. See, it's all coming together. Got a lot open there, so let's hit delete. Oh, contour lines. There we go. Bring them back. Bringing contour lines back. Where are we going here? Where are we going here? We're going up and over. <clears throat> we can do that. Actually. No, 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 Monty. Don't, don't, just stop. Don't be crazy. I am trying to think of why do we want this road? How important is it? Uh, because I think this one's more important. Anyway, that, that that should look fine. This should work okay. Let's check our lines. Did that clean that up? Yeah, look at that. Boom. So that's a long line for food. But it is what it is. Now, we need to get some pickups at both these locations. Because I kind of wanted to work on this, but then it wasn't uh, wasn't ready. So let's get this going here. And let's get another one going over here. Maybe in the woods. Secret wood stash pickup of the iron ore over here. So let's go ahead and buy more road vehicles. We're going to buy... See, since that's close, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to buy five. Set line, new line. And we're going to ca call this one iron ore. I mean, name and everything properly. That's going to go from there to... Uh, there. Oh, no. Uno. We do not have a uh, drop-off here. Hold on. Let's get this going. Let's see. How do we want to roll here? Man, that's quite the dig into the mountain. Let's see. So let's get something going on on this side. There. Oops. That. So you're going to go the, from there, and then you're going to go there, right? Right. Uh, this guy's totally just dropping off, isn't he? We could do the bus stop drop-off, which I think is actually a better plan. So let's do that. I'm going to delete that. We're going to add that as the stop, okay? That stop should touch that. So hopefully... 
that will work. Then on the flip side, let's put that guy here with a turnaround, right? Because they're going to go this way. And then the buses are going to want to turn back around. So we'll, we'll give them a little, little flipperoo here. Cool. And then here... Oop, there we go. Let's go out this way. And a little flip back. Because what's happening here is they're going to stop, and then I want them to just turn and go back around this way. When you clean it all up, we'll throw down some... We'll plant some trees, because the, the naturals, naturalists are uh, after us, chopping down all these trees. The naturites? I don't know. Anyway, let's get that dropped off and going. We're going to have... Oof, that almost means this. Yep. That happened. Needs to be on the other side. Whoops. These things happen. Tis okay. Now I'm wondering if I should put this guy right up here. That's kind of... The congestion. Oh my goodness. Does that connect? Oh my goodness, it does. All right, so we'll have a rain rainbow of roads. <laughs> a rainbow of roads. I have no idea if this is gonna work. This is not a tactic I've ever used, but you know, now's the time to play around and break the game. While you're doing missions and on the hunt. Let's, let's just get these guys out of there. Oh, okay. Calm down, noises. Oh my goodness. There you go. Now that now they're they were just a little angry. Let's go details, then we don't have to see what's going down here. Uh, nope, not the road vehicle details. Uh, buy road vehicles. We're going to go ahead and pause it. We're going to buy five more. Why five? Because I'm going to need to just buy a bunch of more anyway. Uh, we're going to go with coal. And we're going to make it uh, black there. Makes a little bit more sense. And then we're going to add that... From up there, to the right there for a nice little drop off. See? And then they're going to flip around. Nicely done. Nicely done indeed. Uh, are they doing the flip around over here if I click my lines? Yes, they are. Yes, they are indeed. I'm going to have the food line probably back off over here. Eventually, once we're playing with money. Uh, Alright, so we have... Iron. Let's just bring that up again. We have food. We have iron. We have uh, line one, which I broke, apparently. Coal. Probably named a road vehicle, didn't I? Uh, so that's good. And that's good. And that's good. So let's buy. Let's not. Let's not click on the road vehicle again. Let's buy. E four five. These guys are going to be a new line, and they're going to be <coughs> job food. We'll go job, job coping, food, stuffs. There you go, because that's that's what it is. Uh, all right, so that's going to go from. Is this is that what this city is? Oh my. We're all over the place. Yes, that's this city here. Close. You're going to go from there. And you are also going to go to that depot. Right? You like it. You like it. Alrighty, then. Let's... We're good with that. We're going to add... Let's see. We're going to close that because we don't need that. We're going to close that because we don't need that. We're gonna buy five more vehicles here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Money's gone crazy. We're gonna buy. F Why didn't you guys get to uh, hop in there? There you go. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. 
Uh, we're going to set all to a new line. This one is actually going to deliver. Uh, we're going to call it steel. It's actually going to deliver the food from there. And it's going to drop it off, I think, right here. So let's add, let's add a drop off. Hmm. Hmm. Traffic, folks. I'm just thinking about traffic. This could create so much problems, but we'll, we'll fix it as it goes. We're just getting things started here. Can you actually drop it off there? So add a line there. And then, uh, you got, you. Did did you guys all get set to, you guys all on steel? Wow, they are. Good job, delete, so to clear all that up. Very nice, see, we're moving along, we're moving along. Moving along, this one's all about the setup. That's what mission three seems to be about. All about the food stuff's setup. So we're gonna play, we're gonna let those guys get all out, and then we're gonna look at it again. So, coal and iron ore is supplying the steel mill, hopefully. Okay, the steel mill is supplying through the blue line to the foodstuffs. And then the foodstuffs is supplying, which why I bought my coal trucks way over there and not right here, I don't know. But it happens. But we are going to buy three. Set new line, new line. And this one's going to be... Uh, Malmo food stuffs, because that's the final of the food stuffs, for now, for now. All right, so then we're gonna say set line. Uh, oh, oops, 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 oops. Where'd it go? Food stuffs. Let's make this line real quick. Uh, you're gonna make a new line. You're gonna go from right there. Nope. From right there, and you're gonna pick up right there, which is why we're going to also add another road. Right there. Okay, it's getting a little wild, getting a little crazy, but everything connects. Getting lines off of each other, that's the important bit. I don't know if I like. this. Hold on. It's gonna get even weirder. It's going to get even weirder, but this is why we're watching. Oh. There we go. Cool. Let's pause. Ooh, all right. Now, these guys can all go to the Malmo foodstuffs. So we've got food to the three places. We've got iron and coal going to the steel plant, and then we have uh, everything else all good. So, show, 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 show. Playing is the right thing to do. Uh, we're going to get off that, and we are going to buy more road vehicles, and by buy more road vehicles, I mean we're going to buy a lot more road vehicles. Those all go on steel. We are going to actually buy more road vehicles over here. One, two, three, four, five. These are all going to go on coal. They're actually kind of in the right position as well. Cool, they're turning the right way. And uh, the last big one that we're going to throw a bunch on from over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I like to split it up this way because it's letting them run and then they're kind of going out in batches. Yes, they're going to evenly split out over time, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's change the color of this iron ore to more of like an orange. Is that enough? Black, yellow, orange, green, blue, steel. How about gray steel? All right. All right. Now the question is, do we have things waiting at places? Then, then we know things are working right. There we go. There we go. I could say wait until full... 
think I might. But that's, it's, they're going to fill up. They're going to fill up. Right? Yeah, they're going to fill up. They'll be fine. Nope, I'm going to do it. Uh, over here at west, you're going to... Uh, full load inning. And then for the coal line... Oh, your steel. For the coal line, it's going to be central is going to be full load inning. Now that should hold the trucks up while these guys are constructed. Now, I don't actually want to close these because we want to keep an eye on production and what we want to see here are upgrades happening at uh, both situations. So we are going to speed up to times two. It is time to get this a moving. So what we're hoping to see is food at the steel. Steel going out of here. Right, these are gonna these are gonna be moving. These are gonna be producing. These trucks are gonna be a rolling. There it goes. It's full. So the buildup's okay. We actually want to see some buildup over here as well, which we are, which is perfect. Like not real buildup, but here they come. 94, 94, see how the production's moving right along. I'm liking it. I am liking it. The food pickup here, we're gonna have a food pickup here. We might have one more food pickup. Ooh, and that can happen over here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. This is for the Squirrel Gold Medal, which didn't get it the first time. I was really, I'm telling you guys, I really tried to work this with trains. If you get it working with trains, let me know. Uh, I didn't really go hunting around on YouTube to see if it was done with trains. Uh, I just kind of want to knock it out of the park. And I know with trucks, just like in early hard mode, I can move things very quickly, and I can make that money. Wait, 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 pause. I broke something. Oh, nope, sorry. I didn't break anything. I just can't see gray. Even though I don't need this rainbow road. Oh, this road here is to make sure this is connected to this. Ah, that's right. All right. Thank you. Full speed ahead. Don't build a... I'm hitting the three key to uh, change the speed, but the three key opens up trains, and then it always... When you open up the train stations, I still always get a little bit of lag. But boy, they've been updating. It is the end of 2018, and you guys might be going like, Hey, Monty, you're kind of behind on these videos. Yes, but the game just had an update like a week ago. Like a thank you update. How nice is that? So they're still working it hard. We're gonna buy more road vehicles here, a lot of them. Because we've gotta get the steel rolling. It's all gonna go on the steel line. Very nice. Right, so the food stuffs are gonna need a lot more as well. So that's gonna go ahead and get five more. No. You're gonna see a lot of this. A lot of me just going, okay, you finally get more. And then saying, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh! Did I just? Oh my goodness! I did. Oh my! You guys, you guys, I'm the worst. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You don't go to Park Lane, buddy. Wrong city. Derpy derp, de derpy de derp, derp derp derp. All right, here we go. We are going to fix this, though. Well, I wanted to do just a minor fix, but... These rolling hills are not... All right, fine. I'll open the contour map. So, yeah, it doesn't seem that bad. Then you get here... And it's like, am I really saving time? What kind of deal? There we go. Watch. It's going to like it. 
It likes it. It likes it. All right, so this is a lot of stuff going on on this bit of road here. So I'm thinking... Thinking. Hmm. Oh, we're also going to need to build construction materials out here. So let's get that going. Oh my, see, there's so much going on here. But what I think I'm going to do, because <clears throat> I don't mind having two lines rolling on it. Yeah, let's go like this. This guy's going to roll over and get the stone. But he also might be an alternate route for my food. And I'm doing the shorter paths just so I don't dig up the ground so much. I love that you can have tighter bends on the roads. They will have some slowdown, but not too much. Hello, Stone. I'm coming for you. We're coming for you real hard. All right, here we go. Come on now. Now is not the time to play. Well, I mean, it is, but... All right, here we go. Stone. We're going to tuck it in right here. All right, come on now, really? There you go. Perfectionist Monty's coming on out. All right, so what I want to do, though, is have, like... Would that, would that be helpful? I think it would. It's going to be a beautiful ride, too, for the... They're going to appreciate this. Alright, crazy little bump right there. But I'm thinking we're getting to a point to where I'm going to be able to do this. Look at that. The food automatically transferred over to this line. It actually does a big loop. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm wondering, yeah, we're gonna fix that. So let's throw down, now we're getting way deep into it already. We got 2% going to Malmo, so we have some food. I should probably be adding more uh, trucks and vehicles, but we didn't overabundance, so we should be okay. Where are my vehicle? Uh, oh my goodness. Not a track asset. I'm all lost. Signal, 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 signal. There they are. I want a waypoint. Uh, let's just put the waypoint up here because it looks nicer little waypoint here uh, so they can go from one and then they need to go add this guy there they go now we're going back and forth here that got a whole line off of this and now let's see pick up drop off here and let's go here no we're gonna build a new one right here because I don't want to go all the way to the other side of the map that's basically the truth of it by road vehicle we're gonna buy a bunch of these and they are going to set a confusing tangle of dubious alliances and Ooh. conflicts which spontaneously ignite here and there things are getting uncomfortable in Europe we should make sure that we are not too economically dependent on that unstable mob and have something to eat, even in times of crisis. The country must be prepared and store sufficient reserves of foodstuffs. We have been commissioned to help build an appropriate warehouse. All right, a warehouse. See, we were, we were about to get there, buddy. I like it, so we're going to throw a pause down real quick. Uh, set line, new line. This one's going to be uh, stone. Cool. And it's going to go from uh, there. Nope gonna go from there to there making sure that's not 
I want to make sure that's not the waypoint, is it? No, it's the stop. I keep it because you guys got to see this. This is a stupid bus station, so we're going to blow that up. Uh, I need to add not one of these. No, no, Monty, not bus tram station. You don't bus tram stone. You haul stone. So we're going to haul stone. Bada boom. All right, so now that we got that in proper place, uh, all these hooligans, these hooligans, that's right, that's straight up. I'm calling you guys out. That's what you are. Uh, they're going to go from here which is Malmo South, and they're going to go up here and uh, drop that off. Because I already had this line set up, even though it was accidentally a bus line, it looks like the line is uh, good to go. So I'll uh, I'll figure that out so that's not so annoying to watch. But yeah, so that's, there, there we go. Oh my goodness. All right, so play. That stuff's on the move. We are now going to buy some road vehicles. And five, 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 five. Oh, I actually realized. Here, set line, new line first. Let's go from here, and we're going to drop them off. Uh, we're going to drop this stuff off up here. Okay, so drop it off there. Very good. And we'll name that in a second. So that's on the way, but what I want to change up here is have the stone actually just get dropped off. And then we're going to have the stone flip back around. And connect. And I'm apparently putting a light pole there because I wasn't on the terrain. Look at that detail. That's amazing detail. That light pole was placed with perfect... Actually, it's horrible. But we do what we can do. Uh, so what I want to change is the stone line, which is not this one, so we're going to go ahead and rename you. You are the warehouse. Cool. Wow. We got to get... We got to get way more food going to the other places. Food? Is that not connected anymore? Oh my goodness, I don't think that's connected anymore. You're connected now. Sheesh. All kinds of problems. So with that... became a mess. Big jumbled mess is what that became. Just a big bowl of spaghetti and I just threw it on the map here. I mean, there you go. Mission three. Oh my goodness. That's going to hurt us because the the food mix is going to be just kind of way off. I'm going to go ahead and put you on... You're going to go to food for somewhere else we're just gonna have two trucks working this line for a little bit however though I know it's, it's all good now this is all gonna upgrade right we're gonna get a lot more production wow look at that really high potential there so let's get a bunch more on coal we're gonna have a moment of this we're gonna actually speed the game up uh, we're going to put uh, let's see oh, I want to get ah see I'm over on that's how I do it I end up over on buses there we're gonna drop this guy here we're gonna buy two of these set line actually we're gonna wait I want to build the warehouse first and that's done what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna unload. See, I'm back to these. In the industrial zones, we're going to be unload, unloading uh, construction materials. There you go, Monty. You got it out. Construction materials. So that's the plan. So we have the stops in place. We have the food cars a-moving. Uh, oh, yes. There we go. 
both of these guys are going to get 10 more of each, probably. You guys get to go to goat. It's because I named it backwards. I like these being named by the town and then what they are. Usually it's the other way around, but this time just so I can find the towns really quick. Right. All right. That was, that was intense. But sometimes you gotta get intense. High road vehicles. Where are we gonna put these? Where are we gonna put these guys? Come on now. You called it. All the way. Now that it's rocking and rolling a little bit more. These guys want that construction. Food storage, come on now. It needs 25 construction. Not asking much. It's because we need the stone. Which is on the way. Now, the reason why I want to go ahead and get some other construction material lines running. So we're going to actually set these to the new line. Here. To there. And because that's so close, we're going to actually set you to a new line. And you're going to go from there to there. Ooh, I don't like that you go that way. Probably going to have you divert, but we'll allow it for now. And then by road vehicles, I'm going to go ahead and buy five for this one. We're going to set line, new line, there, because I remember, to, nope, almost did it again, there, good, good, very good. And then we just basically hunt down all of this and uh, get it going. But why? we need more steel. Oh my goodness, guys. So this is how it's all going to go now. Lots of this. Said that a lot, but I'm not joking. But it's cool. We got things to do. Now we can go, I think... Oops, I did it again. Times three speed. Almost built a train station. Food's gonna be rolling. Food is gonna be a rolling. All right, iron ore is good coal we are hurting on, so let's go ahead and buy quite a few more coal cars here. Set all that on coal. Keep high production, another upgrade in four months. That's a beautiful thing to see. And uh, yeah, let's, let's look at this. Remember our baby? Look at our baby. I don't know what the Germans are doing, but they are sure making our steel mills upgrade. We're almost at our full production limit of 200. 32%. There we go, there we go. Are you guys bringing stone back? No? Anybody? Yes. That's what I want to see. And what I'm probably going to change up... Uh, line two. Ooh! Achieve a supply food stuffs of 10% in the affected cities in less than six years. Well supplied, sir. Well supplied. All right, slowly on the way. That was gold number one. Now we need to amass a bunch of money. We got to finish building off this warehouse. We need to stockpile at least 500 foodstuffs before the war begins, but it is our, it is already March 25th, 1917. Once you go to times three, boy, it doesn't mess around. And uh, make sure no city has supply of food over 30 while another goes empty-handed. And never let the food supplies fall below 5% during the war. So that's all later stuff. So right now we just got to keep on keep it on. I think we have all 25 of the uh, construction going. 
But, but, I am going to want to figure out a little bit of a distribution change here. I did it here, too. That's not, that needs to be this guy. All right, that's connected. I saw it. It blinked. It lit up. It's on fire. This line's going to get a little crazy here. So crazy that I might... Here you go. Drop that there. There we go. 8 of 25. That's what I'm talking about. Get this ball a-rolling. This road. Prepping for the big times. What? What is happening here? Yeah, you guys would like that better, wouldn't you? However... Don't make me, guys. They're gonna make me. I'm gonna have to put down a signal over here. Oh! No, cancel whatever that is. And now tell the green line... to come over here, going this way. That's what needed to happen right there. Oh, I'm getting poked on Discord. Who be poking me? Anyway, you'll find out later when you watch. I'll be like, hey, you're poking me on Discord. It's all good. Um, Let's see, food. It's going crazy. You know what it is. It's I'm get being connected and reconnected. Hold on, the spray and break everything. I do apologize about that. How are we doing? Oh my, oh my. Malmo, I get it. You could use a few more. But you don't get a lot. Because you're right here. I mean, come on now. Get to work. 21 of 25. I'm going to buy more coal. We're going to buy more for both food lines. By both, I mean, you know, the ones that with distance. And we're going to buy from here. No, from here. Set line. Stone. I think this is actually much closer here, yeah. So we're gonna buy from here. You guys are like, why are you buying them from all over? And I'm leaving everything to automatic because we're not hauling that much stuff. I don't think I need to specify out stone and steel and all that. See, steel we're caught up on. Iron ore we're doing okay on. Coal, it's just gotta be the distance thing. Not seeing any bad, bad traffic. going all right. It's going all right. What happened to, uh, what was this malfunction? There's two more. Come on now. Are you messing with me? There's the rest. Oh, you know what? I think it was my split. Making everyone go everywhere. Besides the warehouse. There we go. Two more to the warehouse. Come on now. How many people do I have working that warehouse line? That's probably also the uh, the problemo. Line one could use a few more. Line two and three as well now. Warehouse, he says he's got four. So I'm gonna trust. Two more to line one. Quite a few more to line two. A bunch more to line three. Let's just keep our construction materials going. War seems inevitable. It would be best for our country to remain neutral so that we don't ruin anyone's business. However, our food security is in poor shape. We must expect the importation of foodstuffs to become difficult. We had better be prepared. But the populace also shouldn't have to tighten <laughs> their belt. 
All right, so we've got to get a new line going, and we've got to get a new line going now, and we have 1,281 days to do it. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is buying, like, a lot of Benzes, because that's still all we have. We're going to set a new line, and it's going to go from this guy that we just built, and it's going to go up here to the warehouse that we just finished building. So that warehouse line, what we can do is we can just say, send all the vehicles to the depot and delete it. Once all those guys get back to the depot, uh, what I'm gonna do is just re reassign them to something else. But that's what I'm hoping we got. We gotta get the stockpile to 500 to squirrel it up, which is the next metal and shamelessly rich. So hopefully this just keeps keeping on making us a ton of money, which it looks like it is right now. We're gonna actually pump up iron ore. We haven't done that for a while. We're gonna pump up. What the? No, we're not buying those. Get, no, sell them. <laughs> we're going to buy uh, more Benzes, imagine that. This is like the Benz episode, all about the Benzes. Uh, these are all gonna go to steel. As soon as I said steel was doing good, boom. There's a big demand for it. Uh, I want to do a line switch here, which is, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Why do we? Why do we have two going here? What do we have going on here? Hold on. Visible. Visible only. Right here. Green is stone. Oh, stone. Can I do this without breaking it? But here, let me. Yeah. Let's add that as the stop. And then you don't. You don't do that anymore. There you go. And then this guy. He can stay there. There we go. Green's going to do a flip around. Red goes in here with their huge station all to themselves. And the other city goes here for their construction materials. Right. I can dig it. Got to keep these numbers up. Got to keep these numbers up. No more rookie numbers. Okay. This is finally loading up well. Uh, on the line four, I want this to be only when you're full, guys. Only when you're full, at least to get started here. I don't mind if traffic builds up. So that's going to be fine. You know what? I'm calling it. We're building a depot right here. There we go. That's what all that was meant for. These guys all go to... The G-Town! The J-Town! Good old hometown of Malmo! Alright, there they go. Boy. Boy, how do we got a lot of trucks just sitting around working, working it hard. Goodness, they're looking good though. We didn't get to just like zoom in and enjoy it, but basically, no matter where I do that, it's going to be Benz's. Benzies. All right, how are we doing here, man? Productions on the up. Uh, are these guys? Oh yes, eight. Five hundred divided by eight. That's a lot of trips. There's maths there. So I'll allow you guys to worry about that, and I want the monies. So you guys are supposed to be on the coal line. How are we for the monies? 1.36 million. Hmm. It's not very much. We need we need 50 million. 50 million. Uh, I'm enjoying these numbers though. Not the big old goose egg up top, but that's about change I do believe Wait, how do we 
do believe that's line four, which needs to be something obvious like pink. And yeah. That's okay. That'll do. I like how it's all kind of split up. Here's getting a little mad. But it still seems to be working all right. I gotta stop spending money if I want to save money. But I just can't help making it more and more efficient. I must. I have to. I can't stop myself. waste all this money on fixing the roads. What did that do? Anything? Oh, yeah. That. Get off my line. Get off my lawn. Then I was almost thinking of having a bypass back here. But this is keeping everyone out of the way. Like, everyone's looping around nice. Traffic is smooth. Hmm. The demands are going to drop, so I don't want to get... <clears throat> excuse me. don't want to get too out of control here. But I do want to go ahead and speed it up. We're over 70% on everything. That should be something right there. 32 on the stockpile of food. Do you guys think we're going to pull it off? I gotta say, I think we're gonna have to buy a few more uh, vehicles for it. Line four. Squirrel. And I will go ahead, just because I know they're bugging some folks, including myself. We're gonna name these. Line three is Malmo uh, CMs. Okay. Line two, which is somewhere I forgot I had that turned on. Line two. Oh my goodness, I'm so confused now. What is line two then? Line two goes all the way over there. Oh, okay, cool. So it's uh, job coping. Uh, CM. Okay. I dig it. Line one. That is truly uh, Malmo CM for reals. The other one is just a poser. This one is actually... Man, I've been terrible with this this episode. But it's something fun to watch while I hopefully get all gold. It's just amazing how that somehow might happen, but probably not. Then line four, we're not going to name it, just to make some folks go crazy. Oh, I'm the worst. All right, what are we doing here? 72 on goats. Goats, 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 my goats. Let's get more trucks on the coal. Oh, money's starting to come in. Coal. Times three, I think. That's some famous last words. I'm actually, for good measure, I'm going to throw down a save because we should. Save game. Called save game. That's good Good enough for me. See a lot of uh, money acres in there? I think so. I'm going to get back into that. I'm going to be starting 2019 a brand new, fresh, fresh, brand new. Monty Acres is great and all, and it's all it got modded and all that, but I've been playing that since beta. It's time for a totally fresh map. If you guys know of a map I should use, large, in charge, let me know. I might go back to the Adirondack series. Got kind of burned on that one, just burned out on that one. And uh, But with all the optimizations, I wouldn't mind going back to a larger map. Totally up for it. But you guys let me know. I uh, definitely take into uh, account... I usually only take into account what the uh, the comments are saying and the likes and such on uh, 
the YouTubes. All right, this is looking good. I almost wanted to slow it down, but I'm not gonna. 91, 85, 79. Oh my goodness, I tried this with, with trains and it was just horror and disappointment. Now the stress is... <clears throat> We've lost 400 days, and we've gotten 200 stockpiled, and we need to get 500? Woo! Days until the war. That's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. Oh, hold on, look, we're almost... Okay, I thought we were gonna be catching up on trucks here. We're catching up on the trucks there. Coal and stuff, you know what? I need, I need, I need, because it's where it really matters. Can't lose up front. We need to get more steel. We get more steel, we get more food. We get more food, we win the day. Look at that. We have no, no build up. We're almost starting to overproduce. Almost. We're not. I'm gonna buy just three. Happy, happy, lucky three. You're on line four. There they come. Now that's what I'm talking about. There we go. There we go. And we're doing this whole mission in one big old episode. It's like a, it's like a movie, movie monster mash, transport fever, New Year's Eve marathons. Actually, I probably will have this come out on the holiday season in between Christmas and New Year's Eve. Just, just Christmas has gone by. But I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to get a few of these recorded before I start just posting them. But Transport Fever, it's been a while. I might I might get this one posted. Because I do plan to knock out Europe just like we knocked out America. Solid gold if we can. We are already... <clears throat> Man, I got the, I've been fighting something off the last few days too. But I, I'm, I'm happy to be recording today. <clears throat> Look at that, 440, and we still have over 500 days. Look, we have almost two full years before the war starts, and we're going to be stockpiled on food. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with these numbers. These are not rookie numbers. So we're going to just keep on going full speed, full steam, doing what we do. I don't know, will we bring more food after we hit the stockpile limit? I tried this with trains and I failed. I just didn't hit it in time. I, I'm sure if we go back and really focus again. There's the squirrel. Stockpile at least 500 foodstuffs before the war begins. 95, 90, and 95. I gotta say those are some, those are some decent numbers right there. We need the, we need, we need the money though. It's all good and dandy, but if we're not making the money. I don't want to go crazy on buying the vehicles, just enough to keep up with this. Supply and demand thing going here, we're going to go to iron ore, so I'm just working on the base and working my way up, if you, if you haven't really caught it yet, so... We'll just see. I should have <clears throat> too many construction materials over here. How's stone doing? Could use a few more trucks. There. Go deliver some construction materials. You guys as well. Some of them are going the wrong way, but that's all right. Road vehicles, even though I know you're far away, go get some stone. Just explore the route on your way. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Ah, all right, there we go. There we go. On the way again. We're making 6.14 million again. We've stockpiled almost double the amount of food. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 stockpiled before the, uh, the war thing happens here. Or are they not... What's happening here now? Oh my goodness, the limit is 3,200. Does that get used up? Oh, it does! Oh, this is a beautiful thing! 
This is a beautiful thing. Here we go. This is going to be nothing but money. Oh, my. You guys, go enjoy line four for all this fruity beer goodness. This is just German. Trucks of German beer. Yep. Crocodile. And a Donner Bruch. We don't care. Go trucking or go home. Which reminds me. Got to bring back some American Truck Simulator. I got a wheel, guys. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving it. Logitech. I think it's like G29, something like that with the pedals. Force feedback. I had no idea that the technology has changed so much. I, I you know, I think I'd played one of those old wheel racer games freaking 15 years ago. Midtown Madness or something like that. But uh, it is unreal in all the best of ways. So we have 184 days until the war, and we have 936. We do we, a lot. We have a lot of stockpiled food. So it's basically, what do you do besides go full speed now? Wow. Double trouble it. Show me that. Show me that, YouTube. Get in there. Get in there. Uh, yeah, let's buy a bunch more. Steel. Iron ore. I'm surprised that the food. Who's who's got the? All right, I can fix that. There's like an extra supply of food here that I just couldn't deal with. It's the uh, the Bergs, the Bergsters, guys. Come down with your too much stuff. Coal. Warned you up front. It's going to be a lot of that, a lot of this. Let's go look at our upgrades. Look at this place. What are we doing? Level three now, huh? Probably one of those each level. Upgrading with a quickness. We need... A few more of you guys there. Just a few more, but They're there we go. Each other's brains out on the continent. It's better for us to stay out of it. The war has Too started. Too bad all that warfare isn't limited to the continent. It's also happening in the North Sea. Mm. Submarines, sea mines, and cruising warships are preventing the importation of the few foodstuffs that are available to import. Nevertheless, we must ensure the supply of our country. So we need for sixty months. Okay. Wow. So this is going to kind of stretch out here now. Provide the cities, uh, the three cities, with an uninterrupted supply of at least 10 foodstuffs, as in percent. Uh, okay. 97, 95, 94. Do you guys think we're going to be able to uh, pull that off? I, uh, I don't know. But on this note, I'm not going to do anything. I promise you. I'm not going to do anything except let time go by. I'm going to bring you guys back when we're almost at that 60 month timeline because we have 55 months to go and you guys have been so kind and hung out with me long enough that I'll bring you back as soon as we hit that unless something crazy happens. I'll bring you right back. Hold on. Let's do this. Force feedback and all. J JK. JK. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I'm bringing you back. Hope you held on tight. Actually, it hasn't been that long. It's been 20-ish months. But we're about to hit that 50 million, and I wanted to go ahead and just cruise along, and I wanted to remind you guys, because I, I I just saw this. I yell, I like to use my passenger stops as drop-offs, and while you're storing the food here, uh, you, you, normally you would have seen me use a bus station here to drop off, but I knew that we're going to have to store the foodstuffs, basically, in an odd manner uh, for this mission to where you do have to have the proper freight drop off so it can actually kind of count as food storage. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's working for me. I'm happy with it, but I've heard some people have issues if they do a drop off here with the bus stations and uh, I just, I'm looking at my tips. I've had like a year of away from it. And look at that, there it is, 50 million shamelessly. I'm. I'm not going to say I'm going to be uh, shameless about it. I'm, I'm pretty uh, happy with this 50 million, and, I, and I'm pretty sure it's just going to keep on rolling in because look at the... I, 
I did nothing. I didn't buy anything. I didn't do none of that stuff. That whole time, all I did was let time run. That's it. Just let time run. What do we got problems with? We have problems because it's telling me to ship more items. Too much steel. It's getting crazy. It is super crazy. Look at that. The crazy map. It's all good and windy from up high. Not down low. Look at that. We stayed above 90%. I don't think we're going to have problems with going under 30 or over 30 while another goes under. And I don't think anything's going to fall be, be find, uh, behind 5%. I think we're pretty good. All I have to do now is continually supply them for another 25-ish months. So uh, I'm going to go full speed as we just are. And instead of me just uh, yabbering on uh, for that long, I'm going to bring you right back before the war is over. Hopefully the war ends with as few casualties as possible. Uh, weird thing to say because we know it doesn't. But you know, here's hoping in this weird fictional world of transport fever that they're all just using nerf guns and this is this is why I'm just gonna skip uh, hold on hold on we're not skipping anywhere we have what happened here all you guys there's not actually anything being produced on line 4 anymore is there I'm gonna go ahead and break everything by saying line 4 can you all go sell yourself And I don't think we're going to see anything else show up here. Because what we see here is kind of like the food, the stored food stuff is being now used because the war is happening. So it's kind of mission-y stuff that's making things a little, oh, kind of, oh. So I think we can sell all these guys and, and uh, be on our way. Well, that sneeze just came out of... Nowhere. Uncalled for. Uncalled for. Thank you for the mute button. But let's call it. Let's say, uh, let's call it a date. I will see you guys at the end of the war. Hold on tight. So, that date where I'm supposed to bring you guys back for the end of the war? Well, bring you back early because this got oddly interesting as the ants go marching by uh, I'm really trying hard to hit 100% across the board and I'm getting so close we still have like 8 months to go and I doubt it's going to happen but it could I doubt it I keep, I've had 100% in the middle I've had 100% on the bottom I get 100% on the top it's, it's all over We're getting so close, though, and I'm even going to add one more. So th this turned in from keeping it above 30% to trying to get 100% across the board. 9999, you're killing me. Killing me. That's pretty good, though, because we've only focused on that. You know what we could check on? How are we doing on... Oh. We're not even doing too bad on construction materials. That's not even the main focus of the game here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But at 55 months in a row, I've just been going full speed, staring at the trucks go by, and I've been going, hey, it went 100, 194, and I'm like, we can do this. We can do this. If we, if we all combine the powers that be and the fever that has struck in, Struck and struck us all down. We will try to continue on. The foodstuffs, could you imagine? We were at over a thousand. If we didn't supply that one th or that five hundred, we'd be out of food. Which I noticed that that's it stalled. Five fifty four. And fifty eight months at a really high continual rate. I saw an auto save right there. It actually didn't even take too long. And uh, let's cruise the countryside. As we hit the final month, probably part of the ugliest countryside we have on the whole map, and 
that's where this is where it's going to go down. Oh, that's pretty. I love the smooth hills. This is why I like to go through and clean all this up a little bit. And you did it. Mission complete. Finally, the war is over and we survived it unharmed thanks to our logistical skills. See, I told you those logistical skills are out there. We ain't no shamelessly rich. But we did it, folks. Uh, trucks all the way. Truck fever, no doubt. And uh, I'm not going to continue playing. I'm going to return to the main menu and I will catch you all next time for mission four. Mission four of Europe. And uh, in case you guys don't know, I have completed all of the American campaign and we have a cool free mode series called Monty Plays, Monty Acres, all that good stuff. Um, leave me a comment below and uh, hopefully this helps you get through it, gets you the five gold. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, all those good things. Loving it. 2018 is done. Here's to a fun 2019. Let me know what you'd like to see on the channel. You guys keep on keeping on.